Okay, let's check in with uh, meteorologist Rich Marriott. So nationally, some challenges out there. There Rich, will be, yeah? and uh, was, he was talking about Dallas there. They had just the rain around there, and it's such a big hub. Mm -hmm. It can slow things down. Also in the northeast, up around Boston, New England, looking for some snow and freezing rain moving in there later on today, which could slow down flights in and out of there. So be sure, not a bad idea, just given the traffic levels, to check with your airline before you head out there to leave or to pick somebody up today. Right. So, what about us here? What are we do, dealing well, with? Well, we're going to be clearing out this afternoon. Actually, travel starting about now through about the next 36 hours or so should be actually pretty nice around western Washington. We're going to be looking for things to clear out. We did have the showers last night. There was a little wet snow mixed in, in a few of the showers. There were no accumulations at all overall in pretty good shape uh, overnight. Take a look at Tacoma. Still pretty cloudy down there. Some occasional light rain coming down not too bad of a morning overall. Then the uh, Doppler radar, the northern, uh, uh, fortunately the northern radar up on Camino Island is down, but things are drying out up here. Still see those bands of showers though down there in the south sound, especially down around Olympia. It's going to be a little slow to clear as that dry air slowly works its way southward. Already seeing sunshine up in the Bellingham area right now. And you see right there at our school net site there at St. Mary Magdalene School in Everett, seeing skies begin to break out with a little bit of sunshine showing up there finally. Temperatures been holding pretty steady through the morning in the mid to upper 30s here. We're in the low 30s up near the Canadian border but they've warmed up into the mid 30s east of the Cascades mostly cloudy over there with some snow showers and temperatures mostly in the uh, 20 upper 20s and 30s at this hour checking our University of Washington high resolution model you can see it shows the clearing and drying that goes on during the day today by this evening just about everybody's going to clear out we'll start tomorrow with probably clear skies, maybe some areas of fog and freezing fog to begin the day. And generally, it should be a sunny day until we get into the afternoon and we'll start to see clouds approaching the coast. Then as we head towards Saturday night, it looks like a chance of rain or snow moving in after midnight, more likely during the early morning hours on Sunday. And that's going to be sticking with us through the day. Snow levels are going to be down around 500 feet or a little bit lower with this as it moves through. So it could give us some accumulations of wet slushy snow. University of Washington model, you can see estimating the accumulations of snow. You see it's kind of spotty, but the uh, only minor Minor accumulations, maybe a trace to an inch or so where if you're near the water. If you have a little bit of elevation, you might get a couple of inches out of there, but pretty good snowfall headed for the mountains overall. So check on our forecast then for today. That snow and rain pretty much wrapping up. We'll see it clearing out as we head towards later on this afternoon. High temperatures today in the upper 30s to right near 40 degrees. Then as we head on into uh, tomorrow, Look for a partly sunny day. It should be a pretty good day to finish up your uh, Christmas shopping if you haven't done that already. We look for high temperatures only getting into the upper 30s. That chance of rain or snow moving back in as we head towards early on Sunday morning. That should be with us pretty much through the day on Sunday for that matter. We'll look for that to continue into Sunday night and turn showery off and on showers. Then as we head into early on Christmas Day, we're going to be looking for still a couple of showers around, but uh, should clear out to a little bit of sunshine in the afternoon. Highs mostly in the upper 30s. It looks like uh, beyond that... I can't get this to move beyond that, as a matter of fact. We so don't really care anything after Christmas. After Rich. Christmas Day, it doesn't really make any difference, does it? It's we true. Don't care. Actually, it looks like it's partly sunny on Tuesday, and then Wednesday and Thursday, we'll see a few rain showers okay. around the area. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Rich. You're welcome.